Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be. My name's Ed and welcome to Let's Go Fishing. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm up at Foster again and uh, we're staying at a bed and breakfast place up here in a little place called Pacific Palms. And I'm planning to go for a fish, but you know, it's, uh, it's mid afternoon, the wind's picked up now and uh, conditions aren't too good for the fishing off the beach. And plus I wanted to use my lures this time round. So um, I might give it a miss this afternoon but I'll go tomorrow morning. But I'll give you a look at these lures. I modified the lures since I last did that last video catching all those tailor off the beach. So I'll give you a close look at these. Well, the main difference with these lures is that uh, I put the reflective tape on and I put more of a bend on them. I think that reflective tape will work well. I've done up the two other lures that I've built before and um, work fantastic. So uh, I'll also show you this setup that I've got here. I'll just move the camera for that. All right, first of all, with the reel, I'm using the Sedona 4000. It's built up with 20 pound braid. I've got 15 pound leader on that and I'm using my, uh, my lure with two assist hooks on the back. <clears throat> it's a 10 foot rod. The rod's a Shimano uh, Fish Quest. And uh, that's the setup I'll be using tomorrow morning. So um, I will see you on the beach tomorrow. Well, good morning. Here we are on the beach the next day. We got a bit of a nor'east wind, so um, might make it difficult casting. But anyway, we're going to give it a go. The swell's up a little bit, but we're here. We might as well give it a shot. If the tailor are on, they'd smash that lure. But the problem is, there's um, we're on the low tide now. Not much water out there either. But you can only give it a go. It doesn't seem like the tailor are on thick anyway. Usually, if uh, if the tailor are on, you'll get them before the sun comes up. Okay, we're on. Woo we're on finally. Ah, oh, let's see if we can get him in. Not lose him like the last one bring him up with this wave a little bit come on he's ah oh, he's got off again i can't believe that dropped two fish going on? I don't know what this is, but as soon as I casted it out, it, uh, it grabbed a look. So hopefully it'll stay on. Looks like a good fish.
Yeah, it's Taylor. He's come off again. Well, the Taylor aren't taking the lure uh, very aggressively. They're just nudging it. It's a shame, really. There's not many of them here. Doesn't look like they're in a feeding frenzy, that's for sure. The few that are here anyway. Oh, I had a tape just then. Okay, we've got one. Let's hope this one stays on. I'm not mucking around with this one, I'm just bringing it in. Alright, not mucking around, up you get. Beautiful. Yeah, see, says talk. They like that pink. Well, guys, I only caught the um, <clears throat> the one tailor, but uh, I dropped a couple too. Anyway, there's not many out here. I don't know why, but conditions look good for them, but just not many out here. So uh, anyway, the lure worked, and it's time to uh, move on and maybe fish for something else. G'day guys, welcome. Just cutting up some pillies now. I'm on the beach and it's about an hour till sunrise, oh maybe more, and uh, I'm going to see if anything out there. I'm using a uh, paternoster rig, we've got the swivel there, two hook rig, same down the bottom and the sinker. You see what's out there. Alright, let's bait up. I just put the hook in there. Just get rid of the scales. Turn it around, I'd say, and poke it out. So you've got the barb coming out. And the other hook goes through the eye like that and the little keeper hook goes through the eye as well all right so that pulls everything nice and tight got the barb sticking out there and uh and the barb sticking out there you got a better chance of hooking up when it's like that I know you just can't see too much, but I'm onto a fish. Um, I'd say it's a tailor. Decent fish. Sorry about the camera work, but can't do nothing about it. It's too dark. Very misty. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, good looking tailor. There we go. That's a nice tail. Alright. Beautiful looking tail. Oh well. Number one. Geez, they really smash the bait, don't they, tail? Anyway, got to get me pliers out on that one. Okay, got another one. There we go. Not as big as the last one, just popped off. Lucky to get him.
sono eh. Jeez, they're on thick now you just can't give them any slack because they'll just get off Come on, up you get. There we go. Nice tailor. It's not a good tailor. It's a good fish. Okay, we've got another one here. Must have him foul hooked or something. He's taking a bit of drag actually. He's in the wash there, you can see him. Uh, I think it's a shovel nose. That's why. Let's have a look here. Yep, shovel nose. Off he goes. The sun's taken a long time to come up this morning. We've got a few clouds. They forecast storms this afternoon. But the wind's been behaving itself. It's coming slight wind from the northwest, so that's great. Well, we're going a bit quiet since the sun's coming out. So I'll bite them at night, but now they've gone quiet. Oh well, it's a beautiful morning anyway. It's not raining and it's not windy. I've got the beach to myself, pretty much. No one down there. No one down there. Got it all to myself. Got a tailor on here. They swim towards you sometimes. You've got to really reel in fast, or else I'll shake the hooks out. Oh, that one's not the biggest. Might be the smallest of the lot. Just going back this one. Got enough for a fee. See this fish, he grabbed it and swam towards me. And slack line. So it was hard to sort of set the hook because you had to wind all this line in. But he's on. Come on, get out of there. Oh, that's a shovel nose, no wonder. That's another shovel nose. Alright buddy, don't worry, you're going back. Okay, settle, settle, settle. Come here. There you go, that's a shovel nose shark. We'll release this guy. You can eat him, but I think I tried him once, I wasn't too fast on him. Alright mate, swim away. Off he goes. Another storm looming on the horizon. 
Well guys, these are the fish that I caught last night. Well, some of them anyway. That's the biggest there. I don't know how long that be. But anyway, uh, once it became daylight, the fish went off. Uh, the shovel nose moved in and that was about it. Uh, I think that storm that they forecast is coming too. So it was a good time to fish because there was no wind. Conditions were great. The swells calmed down. But it goes to show, you know, like I was coming over here binning for Taylor and the Taylor go off as soon as it becomes daylight. So that's why I didn't get too many. So coming out here before daybreak is the go, fishing with pillies. That's where you get most of your tailor. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Please give me the thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you in my next video. Till then.